Hi there, nature lovers. My name's Lou, and I'm a volunteer with the Gabriola Land and Trails Trust. And today I'm going to talk about something you can do to really try and increase the biodiversity on your property. Because invasive plant species um, are the second worst problem in the world for uh, reducing the variety of native species on, on, the, on the earth. Um, and this one I'm here with, this is called Daphne or also called Spurge Laurel. And uh, believe it or not, well, it's a beautiful looking plant with kind of glossy evergreen leaves. Um, and it's still sold in some nurseries, um, but it is a toxic plant. Um, you must wear gloves when you're trying to remove it. And spring is a perfect time to get it because you can see the little yellow flowers have become, are turning into berries. They'll turn black and they'll be spread around by birds. And the problem is that this is a very um, adapted plant and it can grow in sun or shade. So it is taking over the understory on Gabriola Island, sadly. So you have to, um, you can pull small Daphne like this one very easily all winter long or after a rain, you can pull it out and um, get the whole root system and so that plant will, will die. Um, this one here, you have to cut it as low into the ground as you can. So you put your loppers or your pruners right into the ground and clip it, cover it back up, and um, that won't come back. However, uh, if you cut it higher up, there will be, that will just encourage more branches to grow. So if you've got Daphne on your property, it's really important to get rid of it. Um, you can put it into black plastic garbage bags, sit it out in the sun, let it break down, but don't compost it if you're growing vegetables because the toxicity can continue to be a problem. Uh, if you have big piles, you can cover it with a black tarp and hope that the sun will shine on it and help, help it to break Here's down. another uh, really serious invasive species um, on Vancouver Island and the Gulf Islands. And this is invasive Scotch broom that started by three seeds in 1850 down near Sioux. Um, for a small broom, you can actually pull them in the winter, but we don't like to pull bigger ones because it disturbs the soil so much and there can be thousands of seeds from one plant. So you put your loppers into the ground and cut as low as you can. You absolutely have to cut below these branches or else it will just re-sprout. Um, and in fact, you can see this one was cut last year incorrectly. And so it's just sprouted out. So you have to go below the bottom right down into the ground to get this plant. And. Uh, there are broom drops that you can take them to if you have a huge amount, um, or you can just drop it in place to decompose. 